In this little bag is the K6 ARK antenna. There's an antenna kit in this bag and we're gonna put it together. You can find the K6 ARK portable radio antenna at k6ark.com. His website has a couple of links here. You can click on buy kits and this will take you to the Amazon link of his male kit and his female kit. And also on his webpage, you'll find the build instruction, really nice laid out instructions, detailed for whatever configuration you want to do the 49 to one in fed half wave, which is what we're going to do. There's the nine to one unun for the in fed random wire and a one to one balance for dipole or linked up. Adam has done a really great job of laying this out and is super helpful. If you have any questions, you can catch him probably on discord somewhere or send him a email. And here's your parts list explains what you'll get in the kit. You see number eight right there. That is your capacitor for a infed half wave. So we, we got to be careful not to lose that little puppy right there. And there's the email. Like I said, if you had any questions, email him and there you go. Your step-by-step build instructions for each of the various ways you can build it so our first step is putting on the capacitor all right we'll get to the messy workbench here we'll get some stuff out of our way open this buddy up our heat shrink there's our forward female connector antenna wire magnet wire and some heat shrink and look at these cool stickers you get there's our capacitor there's our toroid <coughs> this is going to be fun We'll put a little flux on the pad there, turn our soldering iron on, let it heat up, and then we'll put a dab of solder on that board. I am nervous about this part. I have put my smallest soldering tip on. Oh, almost lost it. So it comes in this little plastic case, got a little film over it. There is the resistor, like a grain of salt. I am going to need some type of tweezer. See if my unsteady hands can handle this. Now that is really small. as much on this side so see if we can get it so you want to fold the poly stealth wire in half and then you want one end being about an inch longer than the other and where it says antenna we're gonna feed it through like that take the other end stick it through the strain relief hole here back up to the top resistor and antenna wire has been attached again to do the toroid that twist all the way down I believe that'd be good three full turns with the twisted pair and when you go anytime you go inside of a toroid that counts as one turn so we're gonna go all the way down here to the bottom of the twist okay time out i wasn't supposed to put the twisted pair the folded back part i wasn't supposed to twist it all the way to the bottom of the folded pair and i wasn't supposed to put the little toroid at the bottom of that twisted pair that i twisted too long so i was only supposed to twist it down halfway down if i'd have read the instructions a little bit better i would have understood this and uh, I should have three wires coming out of the toroid at the end. Anyway, I'll fix it. Screwed up at the very beginning. It happens sometimes. It's okay. Don't get discouraged. Unwinding it is a little easier than winding it. <laughs> and it just gives you practice, right? So where I messed up was on the twisted pair. This should not have been twisted, but except about halfway. Can we save this? Looks good to me. Now half of that approximately. So if I were to listen to Adam, he does have an instructional video. I'll post it in a card up at the top to link it to you. It'll also be in the description. So you want to take this twisted part about halfway up in the middle of the toroid and then begin to do your turn. All right. Now we need a total of 21 turns. There is three. Might recommend safety glasses while we're working with this magnet wire. Come back and poke your eye out, kid. Dude. 
Yeah. 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 Alright, so now we can trim the extra wire. Now we have these three stubs that will go into PCB board. You really don't appreciate how freaking small this is until you actually get it in person trying to do something with it. Turn could have been a little tighter, but oh, in, out, ground. Uh oh. Bring her helping, helping hand over here. Give me a hand, buddy. You hold that together if you don't mind. Alright, so we got it soldered. We lay the toroid back over. We got our poly stealth coming out. Next thing to do is the heat shrink. I'm gonna take the small tubing of heat shrink and cut it about in half, something like that. And we're gonna put it over the poly stuff down there like that. Now we're gonna take the bigger piece of heat shrink. You notice this has a looks like it's self-adhesive on the inside. I like that stuff. Let's see, we got another piece missing here. Ah, there it is. We got a couple of pieces. What is that? So for this build, we're gonna not use that. We're not gonna use that. We're gonna use this. I think uh it'd be too big. Let's use this one. Yeah. Alright. I want that to lay a little flatter. I guess I'll just have to work it around as I go. I'm gonna use my vise. folks oh a little warm a little warm that is an antenna so now all i really have left to do is i got this 26 gauge yellow stranded wire i got this from digikey i think it was like 11 dollars or so comes in a 70 foot roll thought that was just perfect because uh for a 40 meter in fed usually use about 65 66 68 feet something like that just depending on the tuning so we will attach that to this and where'd I yep and there's that other piece of heat shrink will cover where I join those two together k6 ARK in fed half wave antenna 49 to 1 configuration female version we'll get the antenna wire put on and then we'll get to go play with it go ahead and put our heat shrink on there and we'll go about trying to make a decent mechanical twist right row get that heat shrink out of the way a good bit because now to help out with that we're gonna solder that just like that now we got a good a mechanical connection and a soldered connection it's a little cool slip our heat shrink over and voila now we have our antenna how about that it is some kind of cold in north mississippi today that's the best time to do antennas right so we just got the k6ark strung up i've been tuning on it I got a pretty good tune on it. I'll get the calculations on the approximate wire length here after this. We'll get back in the shack. You can see uh, I use the Buddy Stick Pro tripod to elevate the feed point. And I've got the wire running from it up into the tree and down. So kind of sort of inverted V little deal. Uh, it's Yankee, Victoria Yankee, Joe, Mississippi, Mike Sierra. Uh, Kilo 5, Yankee, Victor, Yankee. Kilo 5, Yankee, Victor, Yankee. Charlie, 
there is the K6 ARK antenna. It fits right on the end of the coax. We just got it stuck up on the uh, Buddy Stick Pro tripod to give it elevated off the ground a little. Got it going through that carabiner. And then the wire goes up into that tree and then back down to some bushes up under it. But man, this uh, thing is receiving great. Not the greatest idea to uh, try to test it out QRP during a contest weekend. Kind of hard to get into some of these stations. QRP really need a weekend that's a little more settled down than this. So we'll look forward to trying it out another weekend, another day after the contest is over. Did make a couple of contacts on it. K6 ARK antenna, there it is. This looks like just a bundle of wire, but the feed point, it's in there somewhere. That's how little this thing is. The wire is the biggest part of it. A wonderful kit, excellent directions. I highly recommend looking in the description for the link to K6ARK's website where you can find the link to go buy the product and more importantly, the instructions. I'll also have a link to his YouTube video Go check his channel out if you hadn't already. He has a build instruction video that is great as well. I'm also going to include the links to K8MRD's build video and where he used it. He's got a great video on it. And also, Ham Radio for Non Techies, Scott, over at his channel, he done a video on it too. I recommend checking both those out. Make sure you subscribe to those guys if you hadn't. Appreciate it. Had fun. See you next time. Final thoughts. Double check your work if something's not working out right. If you hook the antenna up after you get your wire put on and it's death, you can't hear anything, you probably have a bad solder joint somewhere on the board. That's what happened to me. Now, I checked mine with a multimeter before I put the antenna wire on there, but I was getting nothing at the center pin. I knew something was wrong, so I went back and I seen, uh, I seen a little suspect of solder job there. So I went back, fixed that solder, and it was good to go also the antenna link i was like i took too much off first because i was thinking of another infed i done i'm like well let's do this much i ended up having to put wire back on so this kit i don't know if it's the size of it or what but it seems to be a little bit more sensitive to tuning so just be aware of that take your time don't get frustrated you can make it work see ya